This is a composition book that I got probably at Walmart a few years ago, probably for 50 cents. So let's take a look at it. Well, look, <laughs> it's empty. And that's because I took it apart. How did it get this beautiful rosy color? I bet you know. Yep, avocado dyed. It's avocado dyed. But what I did was, I used the leftover dye to dye, I'm gonna say that probably a lot today, to dye this book. I stuck it into the, ooh, listen to that. I love that sound. I stuck it into the basin. Actually, it was a tote that I dyed my papers in, these papers. These beautiful pieces. Oh my goodness, it just gives me chills. I love that sound so much. This is tracing paper. And this is computer paper. Well, you know, printer paper. But look how beautiful that is. Look at that. And then, you know, these, of course, they're so pretty. And when you lay things on top of them, it leaves a mark from that thing. And some of them were just papers that I had, you know, these are just some of my digital stamps that I printed out and it was a piece of scrap paper. So now they're on there. And so when I was done with all of those and the pieces of cheesecloth and fabric that I dyed, when I flipped through the book, I noticed some of the pages didn't get much dye at all, which is fine. I think I would like to make a book using these papers. Most of them, in fact, all of them except for two are still attached. And the other thing that I think is really beautiful is where the strings were in the center. I might have to use some of those in a different way just to show off, oh, look at that, just to show it off. But the pages that got dyed, really dyed, are so beautiful. I'm going to make a journal. So I'm going to start with this cover right here. And I have to show you this first though, because you know how we always, whenever, well, maybe you don't know, but when we make journals, it always seems like, well, you start out with the paper being the exact right size, but then you notice after you, after the book's put together that the pages need to be shorter so that when it closes, they go like this. Well. Look how much shorter these are. Look at that. They are shorter. I think that's kind of interesting because they don't appear shorter when the book is all together. You know what I mean? When the book is all together, the pages are not shorter and it's because there's so many. I just thought that was kind of interesting because we all are like, oh, we gotta cut them shorter because there's so many. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. I just love this. Okay, let's get started. So we are going to cut right down the center. So I'm gonna cut right where those holes are. That kind of just gives me a dotted line where to cut. I'm gonna cut right down the center. I just don't see any reason to not use the cover. You know, it's in good shape. It's got this nice, and now it's kind of flexible and cool because it was dyed. Yeah, so we'll use that. Of course, I'll cover it. Now I need a piece of cardboard to put down the center. So I have this piece of cereal, well, actually it's a Ritz Cracker Box, <laughs> from years ago when I was making uh, something for Halloween, spooky house, and this was a leftover one. So I'm gonna be able to cut this exactly where I want it to be. So I'm thinking, I don't know, two inches? inch and a half how long this is all right eight inches it's like six and a quarter by eight six and an eighth six and an eighth by eight okay so i need to make this eight inches cool. pencil eight inches Okay. 
Okay. I mean, I could use my paper trimmer right now. This is just what I feel like doing. And I actually cut that too far off the line. Silly me. Okay. So now I'm just going to cut it. Let's make it two inches. That was JJ jumping across from the desk to the table. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, he just loves art. <laughs> so here is our piece. It's gonna go here and here, like that. This is a little too long. I did not cut on the line. Let me fix that. Now this is gonna go between here. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space like that. And on the outside, I want to put a piece of fabric for my spine. So give me a moment and let's see what I can find. This beautiful fabric that I found. I'm gonna use a piece of this. I might even use this to cover the whole thing. I just think it's beautiful. Colors. Look at it with the, the colors are perfect. I'm gonna cut it this way. And there's a narrow piece up here, so we can start with that. Cut it eight inches. Actually, I'm gonna cut it ten because I want a little bit to overlap. So from here over to here would be eight. Ten, I mean. So I'm gonna mark it here. And then up here, and cut 10 inches. That will give me an inch extra at the top and the bottom. And I want it two inches plus three inches, three and a half inches across. Three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. Cross. Okay. First, let me cut that. Da, 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 da. Let's see, where's that line that I drew? Where did it go? How strange. Is that it right? Ah, I see it. I see the truth of it. It's right there. Then I'm going to cut off this Waverly. Oh, yeah. Waverly. Oh, we love it. And these extra strings, just because we can. Make it as neat as we can. I'll leave it as messy as you want. It doesn't matter to me. Now I have this piece of cloth, which is so pretty and has the pinks. I'm just thrilled that I found this. It was in a contain a, a box actually a basket full of stuff that I got at a yard sale okay now I need my fabric glue beacon three in one I'm telling you all the beacons are just about the same anyway and I'm gonna glue this down I think what I would like to do is put the plain part out there so that, I don't know, I don't think that color will show through, but you never know. So, I'll just do this and I will put it right in the center. That's gonna be on the outside. Ooh, so pretty. And then I'm gonna glue these down. And they are a little bit rounded because they are the original. I might have to put a heavy weight on this. And I'm gonna leave like a quarter inch space between each side, like that. 
So let's glue those on. chef tool. I'm going to just roll that over this, help it stick, and then we'll do this side. I'm putting it on the fabric because I can see where the how much fabric needs glue. If I put it on the cardboard, I might put too much, you know, without measuring because I really would rather not have to measure. We're just going to do this. And then, then I'm going to put this down here. I'm put some of that there. And then some here. This time I can see the cloth and I can figure out how much I think glue I'll need on the cardboard, so on the cardboard. And JJ is watching everything. See, that's what I mean. See, I put too much glue, but that's okay. Let's roll this. Look at that. Okay, so now I have this. Look how pretty. I'm thinking I might like to just do the whole cover with that. Enough. So gorgeous. I think this would be pretty right on the front. And the back. So I'm going to cut it in three pieces. One. This one. Got a center piece already. So we will just cut two of these. This one. And the back of it. Fine. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut two. I could have just cut one big and then folded it this way. It's easier for me. This is the outside. Just put glue on here. And going to put these edges, good, both good sides together right sides together, press, and roll. Then I will fold it forward right here and glue. How beautiful that's gonna be. Yeah, so I'm gonna put glue here. press. 
in this little hat. This is how it will look on the front. Look how pretty. It's so neat. Okay, then we will glue the rest of this down. So I will put glue all over the whole cover. roll this flat. So if you have a brayer, any kind of brayer will work. I just happen to have this Pampered Chef tool. When I was back in the day, I sold Pampered Chef for a teeny bit of time. Okay. Now, the inside, I'm going to cut. I don't want this bulk there, so what we will do is just cut on an angle, but leave a little bit here and here. Fold this up, and we'll work this corner in and over like that, so we have a nice finished corner. I'm going to do the, the corner first. Put the glue in there and the glue here. Now what will happen first is we bring this in, like that, okay, and then more glue here, all the way over here, and you will fold this, this gets folded in. A lot of unraveling, unravel, unraveling now. Yeah. Okay, Let's press that up. Then do this one up here. This one's a little short. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Against our edge. And then this one will come in right through here. Look how pretty that looks on the outside. It's beautiful. This nice, neat line. And we have nice, neat corners. I might put some of those metal corners on here. We'll see how that goes. And now, look. And now I'm going to do that all the same way.
and there's our cover. So pretty. For our inside, I'm gonna wanna find something else to put in here. Mulberry paper. that I could put on the inside. The only thing with the mulberry paper is that you can see through it. But I could always put something underneath that. A piece of this. And mulberry paper is so pretty. You can attach the mulberry paper to a piece of Avocado dye paper and then attach it. Seven and a half by seven and a half by six. Nice to my paper. Seven and a half. So I've sewn those, here they are, nice sewn edges, and let's just trim these little so tails, don't need those. Oh, paper's everywhere because I have the fan on. All right, so that's right, it's Florida. It's always warm. Okay, now we have these. These are going to go in the front of my book and in the back, inside covers. This is the front, this is the back. This will go, turn it so that it's the prettiest one. That's where I went over the stitches in there. So I'll put this right here. And this one will be right here. Yes very pretty edge here and here. dyed paper underneath you don't see any of the box through there or the book through there beautiful look how pretty oh, can't believe I had that fabric all right so the next thing is a piece to put down the middle 
that's here. I would imagine to keep it all looking tidy, that I should go ahead and use the same. Let's cut a little bit off. Oh, no, that was kind of messy. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off. Just a little bit too wide. I need a new blade. This here. And yeah, so we'll just cut this to fit. And we'll glue it to fit and then cut it. That'll be fine. That will work. Here's that piece I sewed. And I think before I do any more sewing, I'm gonna have to thread my bobbin. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I don't know why. It's, I think it's it's just if you, it happens in the middle of what you're making, then it's a problem. But if I keep up with it, it won't be a problem. Okay, so this is gonna go here, right? over the stitching and there's no stitching here but we're still gonna put glue but you want to make sure you put glue over the stitching so when you roll it flat it seals in the stitching there's some threads let me get those in there too whoops Very nice, very nice indeed. Let's put this one at the top. Need that space on either side. Look at that, oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now the reason I didn't need any stitching here and here is because I'm gonna be putting some washi tape here and here. Seal that so it looks perfect. And just. I'm just so thrilled with this cover. It looks great. Almost done. Let's get some pretty washing tape. I do have some of this that I made, which might work. I did some, look at that. I did some strips, but I think it might be too thick. Mm -hmm. Ooh, neat though, right? We will use that. We will definitely use this. as much as some people. Oh, this is cool. Look at this color. And it's vintage teapot. That's so cute. So I'm going to cut it straight. And I'm going to put it right here. But I'm going to also add glue. And I'm going to use the art glitter glue. Because we're not using fabric. And I think it'll work great. And let's see where we need it. Pretty much. See if we're going to cover up this stitching anyway. So I wasn't really worried about that. I'll put some on this side as well. Hmm, I might put some fabric tack glue in the center. Let's put some of this down the center where the fabric is, just in case. Washi does have, it is sticky, but you know, I'm not trusting that that sticky will last as long as this book. So let's start it here, even on both sides of the spot. Oh. It's perfect. I love that. Okay, and then I'll cut it right there. Mm -hmm. Look at 
okay, and I'm gonna press it down into that little valley there. And roll over it this way, and this way. And then, run my finger down there again. Let's see. Bone folder. Bone folder to get in there. Okay, just one side. Mm. Shouldn't really matter to me that it's not perfect, but it's you know it's perfectly imperfect. But oh my goodness, as perfect as I can. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, and then another piece. We'll just put this down the center first. even going to look different. Make sure it's cut really straight, as much as I can. Okay, start it up here, even on both sides. Roll it down. So cool. Mm -hmm. And then cut it. video. Bye.